Next line of treatment, the second line of treatment is oral tablets. The FDA approved drug for male baldness is finasteride. Uh, finasteride is usually given in advanced baldness and as any other tablet, finasteride also has side effects. The side effects are weakness, dizziness, but then these are usually reversible. So uh, if you if you start you on finasteride and you develop any of this and if you stop the tablet, the it is reversible, you will get back to normal. So actually this finasteride around this finasteride or any oral tablet or any hair treatment there is a controversy that it can cause erectile dysfunction or loss of sexual drive or uh, uh, impotency and all that so it is controversial actually it's a myth so uh, usually finasteride when it is given at a, at a higher dose higher dose of around 20 mg or more than that this causes erectile dysfunction and all that reports are there with that also is very rare but then in hair loss we dermatologists usually give it at very low dose so it usually doesn't cause any of these side effects the reports are in fact literature or reports are nil in this topic so it is like i'll tell you an example it is like again paracetamol tablet what happens if you take one tablet you have high fever you take one tablet your fever will reduce but then if you take 100 tablets what will happen so yeah <laughs> that's what it causes okay so finasteride tablet is safe don't panic if a dermatologist has suggested you finasteride tablet what is prp prp is an interventional treatment for hair loss so what exactly we do in prp is we'll be drawing your blood and we'll be processing it and we'll be separating the platelet rich plasma that's the so it is called as prp platelet rich plasma and we'll be injecting this rich plasma platelet rich plasma back to your hair root with injections so this is a procedure of prp and uh, you can ask whether it's safe yes definitely it is safe whether it has shown effect yes 100 percent it shows very good effect but then the effect of prp depends upon the treatment kit the expertise and technicality because nowadays there are a lot of centers where you they'll be telling you that they'll be claiming prp you can come and get done prp so please choose it very carefully where you undergo prp sessions because the kit used and how it is done how it is processed who injects it all is very important for optimum results of prp uh, what exactly happens due to this platelet rich plasma is in your hair root it can stimulate the growth of new hair root as well as it can thicken out the thinned out hairs so these are the two mechanism by which the prp acts uh, nowadays uh, there is like uh, talks on growth factor prp these are all the new things so yeah that also has great ef uh, effect but then what you have to be again careful is what is the kit growth factor kit with which they use that is very important one more recent thing in this area is uh, stem cell therapy so what we do in stem cell therapy or regenera is that we will be punching out few hair follicles along with the root from your occipital region we will be processing it with specific kit regenera kits and then again like prp only we will be injecting it back to the hair root so in this regenera helps to be, uh, make your hair to behave properly like it educates the hair to behave properly so now coming to lights and lasers lights that is LLLT that is low level laser therapy this helps in stimulation as well as uh, maintaining the hair and uh, other thing is lasers again lasers various kinds of lasers are used in uh, uh, hair fall to induce hair growth uh, it can be used in definitive intervals so that the topical uh, whatever lotions we give acts better What is hair transplant? Hair transplant is a procedure in which hair along with its root is taken from the androgen resistant area that is the back area that is the occipital area and it will be implanted into the androgen dependent area that is in the front wherever you lose hair no? there will be transplanting the hair from resistant area to dependent area. 
so there are various uh, ways we can do this hair transplantation now newest thing is robotics and uh, direct hair transplant and everything but then the basic procedure is two that is fut and fue fue means follicular unit extraction in which we'll be removing each and every hair root individually and we'll be separating it or we might put it like that only in the uh, front area and one more is fut where we remove a strip of hair that is along with the skin and then we'll suture it behind and this strip again it is dissected and those hair roots are again implanted into the front area uh, am i eligible for hair transplant this might be running in your mind so usually hair transplant is done for advanced baldness like when there is grade 6 seven or sometimes for five also we do hair transplantation yeah definitely when there is uh, minimal baldness also some cases we do hair transplantation that is when you have lost your hair in the corners this usually happens in aga3 that is androgenic alopecia 3 grade where you will be losing hair in your corners corners are usually resistant even if you use minoxidil or you use oral finasteride prp it usually the hair doesn't grow there so that time usually hair transplantation might become a requirement Is it safe? Yes, it is very safe. In fact, this hair transplantation is done under local anesthesia. Local anesthesia means you will be conscious and you will be speaking to us and you will be listening to music or watching something, something like that. Okay, and it is a simple procedure. The only thing is it is of longer duration. That is because we have to remove each hair follicle from behind and transplant it into the front area. So, I, uh, to tell you, the effort what is put for the effort what is put the results are very gratifying you'll be very happy after a hair transplantation but then yeah that uh, initial fear is natural that uh, you might have heard some news or anything like that and you might have that initial fear but then i'm telling you that it's very safe nothing to worry very simple procedure no need to worry about anything no uh, like you need not worry that uh, post hair transplantation how much rest should i take should i take rest like that see uh, there are uh, our patients who have uh, gone to foreign countries they have gone abroad after third day of hair transplantation after third day so uh, by day three to day five by then you can start your normal activities One major question which runs in everyone's mind is whether these transplanted hair are permanent. It is permanent. See, uh, what happens is once we transplant the hair, whatever we have transplanted is permanent. But then you know that whatever that male baldness you have, it's a progressive condition. So what happens is if you stop your lotions or if you stop your tablets, then what happens is the androgenic alopecia will set into other hair. So only the transplanted hair will be there. The rest of the hair can go into it the, it will be lost so application of these lotions is very important in fact the hair transplant result of yours depends on the follow-up follow-up is very important after hair transplant do be with your dermatologist after you get a hair transplant because it is very important i would want to tell you one more thing here see there are various centers which offer hair transplant so can you go there and get it done i would say see the center where you get done a hair transplant should be well equipped being very frank to you, only dermatologists and plastic surgeons are allowed to do hair transplantation. So please choose wisely where you get it done because it's very important. It's a lifetime procedure, lifetime uh, investment, something like that I would say. So it is very important where you get it done. So coming to the last segment of this talk, do's and don'ts when you have male pattern hair loss. First thing, do not panic. Please consult your dermatologist. Hair is the crowning glory. So, please go to your dermatologist, show your pattern of baldness, show whatever your concern is. They are here to help. We are here to help you. Okay. One thing what I want to tell you in hair loss or uh, when you are following up with treatment, discipline is very important. If you apply the lotion for few days and then leave and then again start the treatment, no. You should have the discipline and dedication towards the treatment. Then only you please start your treatment. And any any kind of baldness, any advanced baldness also there is cure. There is treatment. Please consult your dermatologist. 
then various other things like uh, do's like you have to shampoo your hair every day because it keeps your hair clean one point and second thing is they won't be dandruff dandruff again is one more cause of hair loss and um, uh, there is like myths like when we wear helmet or uh, like if you use hot water geyser water or something there will be hair loss no there is nothing like that do not believe all this okay if you have hair loss do consult your dermatologist so thank you uh, if you have any queries, any questions, we are here to help you. You can uh, put it in the comment section below or you can contact us. You can come down to Qtis, you can meet us. Okay, and we can solve your problem. Okay, see you. Bye.